The Hancock sisters, teenagers, and they originally hail from the Sawtell Club on the north coast of New South Wales, and I'm sure they're watching there at the club this afternoon. Proud as punch that their girl, Bonnie Hancock, first in the first race today. So we've narrowed it down to 12. Bonnie Hancock, Gemma Newbigan, Bianca Lee, Alicia Marriott, Terry Sullivan is through. Christy Munro likewise on her farewell day. Emma Wynn, Naomi Flood, Elise Bennett, Courtney Hancock, Elizabeth Plume as the series leader is through to the final 12. And Chloe Jones was the one to scrape in. And that meant the six eliminated. Brody Moyer, Cherie Merrifull, for Mancia, Candace Fowles on Chelsea McKenzie, and Alira Richardson, the biggest casualty. She went into today fourth in the series. She picks up only two points, having finished 18th. So that is a big setback for Alira. So ready to go again. It's a little different this time. It is board first up, ski second, and they finish with a swim in this, the second race. So underway again. It is a very little turnaround, very short turnaround. Short break. And in they will go. It's really important that start. Courtney actually just missed her board strap and struggled a little bit. But they've got to shore it. They've got to pick up their board strap. They've got to concentrate. They've got to get on their boards fast and get paddling. So the start is really crucial in these sprint like 12 minute races. And it's exactly what it is. It is three sprints in a row. And starting with the board, the ski is the fastest of the crafts, but this is a little faster than the first race where we began with a swim. You've got Elise Bennett's leading them out. She's by far the best board paddler in the field this season. She's been leading the board races in every carnival so far. She's definitely showing that today. She's paddling very, very well. Nice and comfortable. Now this will have a little bit more urgency in this race because it's the bottom six that drop out. Isn't Bianca Lee a good story in this series? Uh, she was so close to qualifying, basically missed out. Thought she'd get the wild card, was terribly disappointed to miss out. And then the door opens with the injury to Christy Harris, the very unfortunate injury. Bianca Lee gets drafted into the series and now she's a chance to make the final six and be an automatic qualifier for next year. That's fantastic. And, uh, you know, it just goes to show every chance you get, you've got to make the most of it. Well, she's making the most of it today. She's up with the leading group here. Had a very strong ski. And you'll see Elise Bennett's here with the other girls are sitting on her board wash. What happens is the first paddler breaks all the water and puts a nice sort of weight behind the board. The other girls will sit and use that and rest a little bit. Elise's aim will definitely be to turn that can first, go along the back nice and slowly. The minute she turns that coming in can, she'll put the sprint on and you'll see all the girls there separate and use those runners in. Elise Bennett round the can first just ahead of Bianca Lee. Bianca Lee in the Telstra Sunfish cap, the blue and yellow. And Alicia Marriott's right up there as well. So it is uh, a high-class field competing for the prize money today, courtesy of the great sponsors, Kellogg's Nutrigrain. What tremendous support they give to Surf Life Saving and to Chrysler Jeep as well, to the winner of the series today. The use of one of the fantastic vehicles for the next 12 months. So lots of incentive for all competitors. You've got Terry Sullivan and um, ch chasing her really well. Terry Sullivan's also puts her leg down as the strongest in the board. So she's going to be there too, trying to work as hard as she can. And Bianca Lee is paddling great as well. So they'll all paddle as hard as they can here to get in and use that little shorey. Because if they can get a boost off that shorey, that's what gives you a little rest. Yeah. Definitely, just get a little wave on the edge here, a safe one here because it is thumping down on really shallow water and then they've got to get on the ski and let's hope they can get out cleanly, not ben like last time. Bennett's advantage is about uh, six or seven metres to Alicia Marriott, she's over her left shoulder, the, the uh, black and yellow competitor out on the right hand side and then Bianca Lee and Terry Sullivan, the two Telstra Sunfish competitors in the blue and, and there's yellow, a wave there's a wave for the back of the field. Here comes the train. The only one who's not on it just about is the leader. So whatever advantage oh, she had. Courtney Hancock lost a board. Courtney Hancock loses a board in the short break. But whatever advantage Elise Bennett had opened up was just gobbled up. And that's devastating in surf. That's surf life saving down to a T. You can be out in front, a wave comes and you lose your lead. But this is where they've got to utilise it. Run hard, put the distance on each other, get ahead from the other so they can't sit on your wash like they did in that board. Jade, the only ones to miss the wave was the competitor coming and the back too. That's exactly surf life, Jamie. Well, this is where they've really got to make up some ground. In this transition here, the run leg is very important. I know it.
tires you out, but you've got to make the most of the run, get on that craft, which is a ski this time, and it's going to be tricky to get through this little short arm. It doesn't look much, but it, it's just very tricky. If you get one in the lap... Bit of pressure on your handlers here too, to, uh, to be right on the money with their assistance. It really is important for your handler to have your ski straight with your paddle right next to it, because you do rely on them in a shorey like this. It's so tricky. It's uh, a little bit of carnage on the beach. Elizabeth Plumer's got out, but uh, some other competitors not so fortunate. Oh, and Elise, Elise Bennett, she's off. She was leading and now she's off back in seventh or eighth. Alicia Marriott got hammered at the shore break as well. This is a this is a big story. Plumer's out, but Alicia Marriott is back on the beach. Elise Bennett is uh, doing it a little tough as well. Getting things straightened up, but Alicia Marriott has been left way back. Remembering the final six only, the top six only, go through to the last race. And there's Bonnie Hancock too. She's been left behind getting hit as well.